ski resort. It's another day and we're on the mountain working and I've got some appliances back here, been to the appliance store and I've got a pro tip already today. That's actually, <laughs> it's, a pro, it's a pro husband tip. Do not throw anything away ever, ever anything without asking your wife first. Seriously. Pro tip. Here we go. First task, we got the range hood that's going there. Kind of you know? sucks though, you can't even wear shoes. Oh, no shoes. That's good to know. <laughs> That, <laughs> so we're gonna unbox this thing. We know nothing about it at all, but we're just gonna tear into it and see if we can get it installed correctly. Perkins style. <laughs> I about that no shoe thing. Okay, no shoe on that one too. And there it is. Wow. Dang. That is thick. We're it's like a hundred pages. We're in trouble. Hopefully it's in like 10 different languages. Hopefully. Okay. Let's... If you remember from a previous video, we headered off a stud so that this duct could go straight through the wall right on the back of this unit. So hopefully that's all going to line up when we get to putting it in. 47, 7 eighths. Seven and seven eighths. <laughs> okay. We got this box, which is a second blower. Okay. <laughs> and look at the size of the vent. All right. Let me hold this up next to your head. Okay. <laughs> this is going to suck the food right off your pan while you're cooking. <laughs> so that's a 10 inch. And I hope it's going to fit. Keep the kids away from that yeah. thing. Let me suck up inside that thing. I only planned for an 8-inch when I when I made the headered off stud. So we're going to get the stud finder to see if what we got. Seven and a half, 14. I really need 13. <coughs> Six and a half. Six and a half is Six and half a 13. Yeah. Okay. It's Monday morning, folks. We apologize. Right. Six and a half. 13, that one. Now let's do the stud finder and see if our thing. Don't push that thing near me, Clark. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. That was lucky. I think I laid that out. That was lucky. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. We free? Yeah. Remove this report to do before installing. Did you have a good weekend? I had a great weekend. I went paintballing with my son and his buddies. Did you get shot in the neck? Nah, uh, twice. <laughs> okay. And I got shot. I was just wondering if that was a shot in the neck or something else, you know? I mean, I got one back here somewhere. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. It was fun, though. Conquer paintball. Yeah, sounds fun. It's getting so fun. shot in the neck. <laughs> Sounds super fun. <laughs> Jones shot me in the neck. <laughs> my own buddy shot me in the neck. Oh my gosh. Were you aiming for Jason's face when you shot him in the neck? Uh, I don't know. Was that the time that I wasn't even aiming at you? Yeah, he wasn't even aiming at me. He was shooting at somebody else and all of a sudden there I was. Oh. I accidentally hit him. Right in the neck. There it is. Now we got her. You ain't living unless you got dual exhaust. <laughs> On your range hood. I mean, I've heard of dual exhaust on trucks, but yeah. this is taking it to a whole new level. It's going to suck every bit of air right out of this house. can't say suck, bro. Oh, you can't? Sorry. I'm not sure whose job this really is to install something like this. You would think it'd be like the appliance company, right? Or the electrician. I really don't want either of those people cutting a giant hole in the side of our house. Um, so we always end up doing stuff like this. You know what they basically. say? You want done right? Do Get Jason to do it. Do it yourself. <laughs> Get Ray to do it. Careful. It's gonna be so. Oh, it looks like we're aligned. We got that in there, <laughs> and Jason just informed me it's wrong because we're gonna be venting out the back, and the way this is sitting, I kind of thought that was. 
the back, but actually that's the top. So we, that's where it goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start over. Wow. That's one, that's one way to do it. Not just for painting anymore. <laughs> that's like a six in one now. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. My nippers wouldn't fit in there, so. Can you say nippers? We got this venting out the back of the unit now. Check. Check. <laughs> now we're gonna locate uh, our wiring on the bottom of that cabinet. And uh, I guess we gotta buy a plug. Unless, did it come with one? Uh, I did not see a plug. Okay. Get a drill bit. I'm gonna double check my numbers just in case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 12 3 8 yeah. No, I, I Actually, this did I you? Know. Yeah, okay, you registered off that two, two and five eighths. Yeah, you're right. Wow, look at that. So while uh, you and your wife are fighting, <laughs> I got this this morning. To dad, I love you, dad. Have a great day at work, and thank you for everything. Love, Ryan. That's Isn't my that nice. That's my daughter. Wow, she's awesome. Well, I hate to one up you, but I got one from my five year old. You did? Yeah. Come on. Love you, Hart Grayson. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yep, keep that right there. As you notice, we didn't get anything from our wives. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Now's the part where we have to cut a giant hole in the house. I've been trying to put it off, but there's nothing else we can do. There's so no, there's no weed, but that's all. <laughs> Yo, isn't there something we could put this in that like does the sign for you? <laughs> like you don't have to do it by hand. <laughs> There is. Man. No, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like cutting through stuff and you can't tell unless you're doing it by hand. Right? Whatever. <laughs> I see the name on the truck. So you can see where I headed off this stud. There's a stud right uh, there and it would have been running right through. And then up here, you know, there's another piece that's attached to the top piece of the stud. <laughs> One last thing about this crazy dual exhaust unit is that before we leave, we're actually going to make it not so awesome. We're going to enable the ACT mode, maximum 390 CFM. And that's because of building codes. <laughs> that's a 400 maximum is what it is. Now this thing with the double blowers is probably like 2000. What? At least. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, but that's against code. And uh, you know, if they open a window, like crack a window while they're running it, they can run it at 2000, but not all people are that smart. So the building code says 400 is maximum. So we're gonna leave it set in this mode. The homeowner can do whatever they want after we leave. When we're gone. We're gone. Hey. That's it. We're not here. Guess cheese is the new bread, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> new car, baby. Woo! New car. Up next, we have what I think is the log kit for this fireplace from eFireplaceStore.com. Thank you to eFireplaceStore.com for sending us these, and we're going to put them in. found the on-off switch here, hidden in a little chunk of log. 
That's pretty cool. <laughs> Unless you don't know it's there, then you never would yeah. find it. How do I shut this thing off? <laughs> Our next step here is actually to connect our gas line to the burner unit, but we're gonna let a real gas pro do that, the propane company. From there to there, we're just gonna assemble the log set now. Rock wool. What is that stuff? It's, uh, it glows when, when the fire's on, like embers. It's rock wool. Uh... Yeah, Jamie was just saying pro tip of the day there. If you wanna get a, a propane or a gas guy to your house quick, just tell them I smell gas. I smell gas. I smell gas. It's leaking it everywhere. It's really strong. You should yeah. get here and they'll, they'll be here by there in like two minutes every time. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're not going to do that. I'm, isn't that lying? Yeah, it so if there's any children watching this channel, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about us lying. Just listen to your parents. Yeah. Again, thank you so much to efireplacestore.com. We've bought all of our fireplaces there for years. I wanna show you guys that this kit also came with a remote uh, kit, as well as this little switch on a log. We're gonna let our electrician and our propane guy figure that out to make it all work. And then we're gonna sprinkle these little coal bits, uh, all around, or decorative rock <laughs> is the real name, <laughs> on the bottom of the firebox so it looks like a real fireplace. I like coal bits better. Coal bits. <laughs> Rays onto the real dicey stuff right here. Mm. Cutting in around windows. And before he did that, ooh, Bob. Blob. Before he did that, he put these little plugs in. And they leave those out uh, so you can access the screws to take the glass out in case you shatter it during construction. Ooh, smart, Which, smart people. Yeah, I'm sure it's happened. Yeah. Actually, when we were building my house, we did break the glass out of the front door. By was, we, do you mean... Well, it's actually, it really wasn't me, but I'm not going to say who it was. But anyway, we were drilling. I did all the wiring in my house, and we're using this giant hog of a drill, and it had a chuck key screwed to oh. or uh, taped onto the uh, power cord. Mm -hmm. And we swung, we were above the door, and uh, that thing swung down, clink, just all fell out. Yep. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> dang it. This is a sad story. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Moving along here, we're planning out uh, the backsplash tile. And these are gonna go along the wall and along the wall, but uh, above the stove and below the vent, that's what's happening. Yay, so I'm gonna see if these two sizes are compatible. And right now it's looking like, see, I need to make up about an inch. Mm -hmm. And I think we can buy some little accent tiles, these little strip ones that are kind of decorative so that it'll, it'll all kind of plane out like and be, you know, like block work, basically. Mm -hmm. you know That'd be saying? nice. Yeah, so uh, that, that's gonna help. Minimo in there. I love this fan in here, guys. I will call it Minimo. <laughs> <laughs> to finish out my work day, I'm gonna get in some baseboards in the upstairs bedrooms, final coat of paint, and this is sort of like brain surgery. It takes a lot of concentration to not get paint on the finished floor, get a nice clean looking coat on there. So I can only handle doing this for about an hour at a time and I'm literally fried, like my brain is fried. So I'm gonna do maybe one or two rooms. Jono? Thanks, bud. I don't know how you made it up here with no gloves on a motorcycle. <laughs> Neither, man. <laughs> it was really cold. But that'll help you out on the way home. It was like three minutes and I knew I was making a mistake. Yet you kept going. That's the end of another amazing day up on a mountain building a house. What an amazing day. It was amazing. <laughs> we can't wait to do it again, in fact. So thanks for building with us today. We'll see you again on the next one.